from two officers fighting an old lady. Stop! Stop! Get off me! To another officer tasering a man without asking a single question. God, they're doing <laughs> Here are four instances when cops were caught making illegal arrests. Disclaimer. On March 26, 2023, a patrolling officer noticed an old lady, Stephanie Silvestri, sleeping on the sidewalk of a Wendy's parking lot. The officer stepped out and approached her. He began by asking personal questions, but Stephanie was unable to understand, as she was not in her right state of mind. Look at me. Don't Look touch at me. me. Don't touch me. Don't, I'm gonna don't put touch you under me. arrest. Don't touch me. Have a seat. The officer got physical with her, upon which Stephanie asked him not to touch, but the officer clearly didn't listen. Ow! 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 Have a second, yeah, please. Now, now that we've explained this, have a seat. Have a Don't seat. touch me! Don't touch have me! Have a seat. Don't touch me! Do you know where you are? Yes. Where are you? Don't touch me. Sit down. Don't touch me! Sit. Don't touch me! Get your hands behind your back. Get your knee off me. Put your hands behind your back. Get your knee off me. Put your hands behind your back. Get your knee off me. Oh my gosh! Stop! Stop! Get off me! The officer continued to hold Stephanie while she resisted, knocking her down and putting his knee over her. When this wasn't enough, the officer dragged her and threatened to pepper spray her. You have no reason to arrest me. Get off my knees! Stop resisting, I'll get off your knees. Get off my knees! Get off my knees. I I'll get off your knees when you stop. I didn't touch you, get off my knees! Where's the female? Get off my knees! Where's the female? Get off my knees! Joined by another officer, things got even more terrifying for Stephanie. Both officers mercilessly held her from behind and forcefully got her hands cuffed. Uh, we had a complaint about her at Oleander Mini Park. Yes. No, no. No trespassing. I was never. No, we never didn't trespass you, but you just left. Leave, no, yeah. Right. No, you left on your own. No. Never ever written anything down. Never nothing. I didn't he came say, up and I didn't say anybody me. written anything down. He came up and started assaulting me. The officer can be seen accusing Stephanie of trespassing, even though there was no clear evidence for that. And you know by law that the um, government has done this to my body. Calm, clam. So you can go ahead and arrest me, and um, I'm not I'm not above the law. I'm under the law. This is lawless, lawless. for my claw. Yes. Hold still. Do you have anything in your pockets? Nope. Do you have anything on your person at all? Nope. Nothing in your undergarments or anything like that? I don't own any undergarments. Okay. And nothing under your clothing? Where under your shirt? Right here, no, should, just, have just, just laying on the ground. Okay. Just sit tight. Without any warrant or evidence, the officer started checking Stephanie's clothes and other belongings. But, surprise, surprise, they found nothing. Okay. Since you're in handcuffs right now and you're not free to leave, I'm going to read you this, okay? You have the right why? to remain. Why are, you, why are you reading that? Like I just said, because you're in handcuffs and you're not free to leave. Why am I not free to leave? Because you're detained. Why? Why am I? The I events that led up to this. No, no. Why am I detained? What did I do wrong? Despite finding nothing suspicious with Stephanie, the officer detained her and asked her not to move. You understand your rights? No. I've been hit in the head. Where'd you get hit in the head? In the park two days ago, I got hit in the head and I got threatened last night again that they would punch me in the head. So I do Dude, not have who threatened the capacity you? to be uh, understanding as to what you just read me at all. Okay. Yeah. Who threatened you? I don't know who they were. Which park were you at? Um, the one up by the arena. By Sailor's Return? Yes. Like uh, Shepherd's Park? I don't know what it's called. It's the one with the little playground in the sand and it's got uh, the river walk on it? Where all the I sailboats stop? I have something wrong with my head. Okay. So I don't have the capacity to understand. Do you need an ambulance? No, thank you. Stephanie told the officers what had happened to her in the last two days and what caused her to be in this condition. However, the officers seemed completely disinterested, as if they had already made up their minds to accuse her. Do you know what city you're in right now? Yes. What city are you in? Who's the president of the United States? Biden. Oh. I met him. You met Biden? When did you meet Biden? 
believe it's a senator. Oh. Well, what year is it? 2023. The officer started asking Stephanie some generic questions to test her memory, and if she was mentally stable or not. Stephanie gave all the right answers, proving that she was in fact mentally stable. Rock up on that knee and then we're gonna stand up, right? Because I have trouble with my balance. Okay, we got you. We won't let you fall. Alright. We'll walk over this way. Walk over to uh, Officer Lee here. Go ahead and have a seat right here. Having difficulty walking, the officer helped Stephanie and took her to a police van, where she was asked to sit inside by Officer Lee. Yeah, we'll go ahead and have a seat in there. It's not gonna happen. I've been hit by the government so hard with my balance and they, my calm plan, they ruined it. I cannot get up in there without some assistance. Okay. All right, I have no up. use of my I'm, right, I'm right leg. They made me I'm, a rocket. I'm right here. Who's going up? The okay. air balloon? Yes, ma'am. Put your left leg up on that step. I can't. I you cannot. can't lift your left leg? No, okay. And I just cannot. turn and sit right here. I cannot. Tell I me. cannot. I do not have the use of my body. You were just you standing pretty fine. That's crazy. You do not understand. I do not have the use of my body. Okay. Well, let's see if whoever else has control of your body can get it in there. Go ahead. There you go. Sit back so this doesn't hit you. There you go. Despite having no evidence of Stephanie being intoxicated or violent to the police officer, she was arrested on the charge of just resisting an officer. Stephanie had already had a traumatic past two days, but the officers didn't listen to her side of the story and physically abused her, bringing even more misery to her life. What Stephanie had to endure from these officers was pretty merciless, but what happened to John Efford just because of his racial status is even more shocking. Get on the ground! Now! Before that, on August 15th, 2020, Dylan Puente was stopped by Keller police officers for making a wide right turn. Despite cooperating with the officers, he was inexplicably arrested. Hey, roll your window back down. What's up? My name is Sergeant Schmont, the Keller Police Department. The reason being stopped today, he made a wide right turn when he turned from 1709 to 377. Any reason why you rolled your window up when I walk up to this car? No, sir. You had been driving it down for the past mile? I just rolled it up. All right. Step out of the car for me. Step out. You do not shut that window. Open it now. Step out. Right here. Face that direction. Why are you acting so suspicious? So, well, what, you're on your window up when I'm walking up on scene for a routine traffic stop. Ain't nothing going on. You roll your window up. What does that look like to me? I mean, I'm just rolling it up because I. Uh, it's my, for my safety. For your safety? Yeah. The situation escalated when Dylan's father, Marcus Puente, arrived and began recording the arrest of his son. That's my dad. Oh, sir. Yeah. I rolled, I rolled up my window. 320, give me unit code now. And he got mad because I rolled up my window. Yeah. You're about to be arrested for blocking the roadway if you don't park and get out. I rolled, I rolled park up my over there. I said I can. It's my right. You are interfering with my job. You need to go park over there. I rolled up my window like you said. It was my right to roll up my window. No, it's not. Even though Dylan was already detained with his hands cuffed, one of the officers threatened to arrest Marcus for allegedly blocking the road and instructed him to park his car. I've never met you before. Yes, I know. And then the first thing you do is you roll up your window like that. Okay? I thought it was allowed so we can roll up my window and hand what, out my license. To how do you think it would look to me? if you're rolling up your window when you walk up. I guess suspicious a little bit. Suspicious. So, it's even more suspicious, right? You've been cruising, it's a hot day, you've been cruising right your window down. Yes, sir. And the first thing I do when I walk up is you roll your window up. Yes, sir. Then I say, step out of the car, and then you proceed to roll your window up all the way, and I can, well, I can I no longer told, see you. I can ro roll my window, and then shut the door and lock it. The officer can be seen arguing with Dylan, attempting to make him feel guilty for rolling up his window when approached by the officer. What? Alright, what are you pulling down? Blocking the roadway? What are you pulling down? Turn around. No, man, nope. for what? Hey. what? Hold on, hold on. What am I blocking? Nope. I'm All not right. blocking any down? roadway. Nope. Enough, I know. I am not blocking a roadway. Right. What are you pulling down? I... Put your hands behind your head. Hey, Russ, I hope you got this on video. Marcus stepped out of his vehicle to record his son's arrest, which agitated the officer. The officer then called for Marcus's arrest and tried to seize his phone. And now he's taking my phone away. Hey. What is the unit? Dude, oh my god. Hey. 
Hey, you're gonna, dude. What are you doing? You're gonna get sprayed. Okay. I'm, I'm spray. Put your hands spray. on Spray. 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 Yeah. Spray. I'm not even doing anything. You got everything. Just get the three, one, three. Need more unit. Run code. Dude. What the heck? Man? Stop. 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 Stay away. <laughs> when Marcus resisted, the officer knocked him down and pepper sprayed him twice in the eyes before allegedly confiscating his phone. What is this about? Ross, can you check my phone? Hey, stay away, sir. Sir, stay away. Video from the corner. Stay away. Video from the corner. What the heck, man? The officers forcefully handcuffed Marcus and threatened pedestrians to stay away. They then took Marcus, who was unable to see properly due to the pepper spray, to the police station. Despite finding no narcotics in Dylan's car, the officers accused him of carrying drugs. In December, Marcus filed a federal lawsuit against the Keller police officers. The lawsuit found the officers guilty of inhumane and cruel treatment towards Marcus and Dylan. As a result, they received a $200,000 payout as part of the settlement, and both officers were were subsequently fired. It's unfortunate how two people from the same family were targeted by these officers. But now we have to move on to John Efford's case, which you just have to see to believe. On March 14th, 2019, John Efford was on his way to interview for his job when he was warned by Gwinnett County police officers not to cross the road outside the crosswalk. But he didn't listen, triggering the officers and leading to an unfortunate event unfolding. Sit down. I hit, I hit the crosswalk right there. What did I do? No crosswalk right there. What did I do? Sit down. What did I do? Right now. What did I do? Sit my down. Hands in the air. What did I do? Sit down. I had to make my interview. What did I do? Both officers covered John to arrest him and started threatening him with a taser. John can be seen asking, "What did I do?" As he wasn't even aware of why the officers were being so aggressive towards him. Hey, get on the ground. One, two, one, two, three. Get on the ground. Get on the ground. Back up, back up. I'm gonna tase you. Last time I'm gonna ask you. Last time I'm gonna ask you. Hands behind your back. Hands behind your back. Hands behind your back. Hands behind your back. Put your hands behind your back. I didn't do anything, sir. Sir, I didn't do anything. Sir, I didn't do anything. Sir, I didn't do anything. Get on the ground. Hands behind your back. On the ground. You're gonna get chased again. You gotta get ten again. Get down. On the ground. On the ground. Put your hands behind your back. Put your hands behind your back. I didn't do anything. Get down. Put your hands behind your back now. Get on the ground. Get on the ground now. <laughs> Frustrated by Efford's resistance, the officers quickly resorted to physical force. They held him by his neck and knocked him down. An officer used a taser on Efford, and he can be seen shouting in pain. I did not do anything. All right, he's getting tased again. I did not do anything. Cuff him. Cuff him. I'm sorry, man. I, I was just trying to go, man. Please, Lord. Please leave me alone. Please leave me alone. Go Stop way. moving. Please leave me alone, sir. Sir, I didn't do it. He smell like 38 as well. What did I do? I'm just trying to go to an interview. Please. Please. What did I do? Read my look. 121, start FD for taser deployment. Oh, I don't have a record. I don't have a record. I didn't do anything, sir. Knocked down, Efford was handcuffed by one of the officers while the second continued deploying a taser into his back, rendering him helpless. What did I do? He has not told me anything, sir. You jaywalked again, right? Wow, right sorry. in front of us wow. again, bro. That was across the, that was across, hey, 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 here, there's no hey, crosswalk. Hey, Down hey, there, there is. But sir, I did not know that. I did stop right there. We just I did, I did. You, it's man. a stop sign right there, sir. And I seen a, uh, what, uh, I didn't know if it was a, I, I, it wasn't a red light or none of that. I was not trying to jaywalk again. I promise you. I thought that was okay. I've never been in this situation. I'm just trying to go to my energy. Oh my god! So I was just Lift to this leg for me. Oh, oh, Lift the leg. Lift this leg. Hey, quit talking. Quit talking. Yes, sir. Do what they say, okay, bud? Yes, sir. I'm not like that at all. I just be trying to go punch the tree and go to my energy. Let's get him in the car. What did I do? Yeah, we're going to sit in the backseat of this car. But, but sir, but it's not easy. Can I please just... Oh, my God. Please, Lord. I don't need this, man. Hold him tight right there. Just stay facing this way. Oh, my God. 
Joined by other police officers, the officer started checking effort and took his belongings, including his wallet. Despite finding nothing suspicious, they still took him into their car. I think it was a close, so it might have not been effective. Oh, uh, Is this one in your chest? No. Uh, pull them all out. It's one. Let me go and pull this one out. Yeah, it's it's uh, it's not Step attached to it. Two. I don't know where the other two went. Just give us a second, all right, man? Yes, hey, we're trying to get you hooked up, all right? There's more wires, yeah. Oh, that's my blood, man. That's crazy. I got one more right here. Okay, let me get a picture of oh, that. I don't know where the fourth one at. No, nah, I didn't get the one on the ground. There's one on the ground. You can sit them down, though. There's the fourth. <laughs> well, I'll, I'll let you call your mom in a minute, all right, man? We got to let the ambulance come and check you out, all right? Treated like a criminal, Effort was accused of two charges, obstruction and crossing the street outside the crosswalk. Both charges were dropped after prosecutors saw the video. Later, Effort sued the officers and the police department for $10 million, while both officers involved faced multiple charges. Although we all know the officer was on the wrong side of the law, but in this last case, it's up to you to decide. The incident occurred on September 21st, 2020, on Blue Hills Avenue, when officers pulled over and accused the female driver of driving a stolen car. Despite her telling the officers that it must be some kind of misunderstanding, the officers chose not to listen. Let's see if she was telling the truth or not. You lying! You lying! Did she drive the dollar? Man, she drove you really gonna sit there and lie? Everything I do is legit. Everything I do is legit. Everything I do is legit. Ma'am, you need to relax. I don't want to talk to you. I want your badge number. I want your badge number. Now, I'm not Miss Thompson. I'm Sydney Ramsey. So how's it? How's it? How's the register stolen? I don't know. That's what I'm trying to figure out. I think you got you got the hot sheet. Can, can we show her that? Can we just show her that it's on the list of stolen? Mm. Yeah, if she wants. Hey, what's her name? Ma'am. 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 I need you to step over here. Come here. Come here. Come here. I want to show you. I want to show you something. I'm trying to show you. Listen. See your car right here, ma'am. See it's on red. You see A W A. There's no possible way. Listen. Listen. No. There's no possible way. My car is She's literally not gonna know. Well, Ever. listen, listen, Ever. we're trying to tell Ever. you, we're trying to tell you. No, it hasn't. Leave me alone. No, it hasn't. Never in life Jesus has it Christ. ever. Everything is in my hands. Everything is in my hands. Listen, I'm trying to, we're trying to show you why we stopped. That's the system you did. Did you make up the numbers? Listen, no, listen. Where'd you get the numbers from? All right, I'm done. I'm done. The woman can be seen throwing her cards and showing the officers proof that the car is in fact hers. But the officers weren't interested in any of these facts. Stay over there. I'll just leave. No, you can't leave. You can't. It's my car. I can absolutely. Ma'am. Like, do you have the keys? Ma'am. 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 Get out of the car. What are you doing? Stay over there. 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 It's my car and it's not stolen. Listen, watch out. It's my car. Let it out of the car. I don't give a in park. It's my car. It's not stolen. What are you doing? It's my car. Get out of the car. Get out of the car. Get out of the car. And it's not stolen. Get out of the car. Get out of the car. Stop. Stay over there. I'm not Stay over there. Stay over there. You're going to go. Get back. Get back. Get back. Get back. Frustrated by the officer's behavior, she decided to move away in her car, but was stopped by the officers. Many pedestrians came to help the woman, but what happened next was unjustifiable. Back up, man. What? 
Relax. Relax. Get back. I'm not going to tell you kid. Get back. Get back. Look what they doing to her. She's not listening. Get back. So what? I'm not listening. What the f***? back. What the when the situation became uncontrollable, the officer dragged her out of the car, despite her daughter being inside the car, and warned pedestrians not to come closer to the car. I'm not worried about it. I'm gonna stay over there. Stay over there. Alright, alright. Back up, 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 you don't need that many Back up, back up. The woman can be seen knocked down, and the officers put their knee on her. And she can be heard shouting for help as she was unable to breathe. I'm an officer too, this is not needed for all this, it's for this, we need to just calm down. Why, why is there no female cop out here? Why is there not, why is there not a female cop out here? Why is there not a female cop out here? All of these men and other cops. Step back, just step back, just relax, just step back, step back, step back. Just relax, just relax, just relax. Anyone else? Just relax. Sit down and stay still. All the other passengers of the car got out and came to support the woman, and they started recording this unfortunate incident. We want them names and badge numbers. Y'all got a problem. Y'all look at y'all Y'all got the problem. Stay back. Look at Stay back. Stay back. Stay back. Back up. On the curb. Y'all about to break up. Get on the curb. Y'all about to break up. Hey, hey, yeah, I'm fine to go. Hey, yo. I don't care. Stay back. Stay back. Get on the curb. Care. Boss, get on the curb. Go. I'm not going to tell you one more time. Stay on the curb. What you mean? I, just, I got it on tape. What you talking about? I don't care. I'm not going to stop yelling none of that. Put her in the ambulance. So stop. So stop then. Driving a car away with her daughter in it. Smart. Smart. She's scared. Look at how much of y'all to her. What do you mean? Officers can be seen arguing with the other passengers while the woman was taken into custody and accused of interfering with police and reckless endangerment. The video went viral on social media and created outrage amongst the community. No action was taken against the officer.